this is my third video in the All About Money series and I'm going to pretty much lay out how much money I've ever spent on travel. I started traveling in 2015. That year I went on one trip for about a week and a half to London, Italy, and uh, Istanbul. Uh, the entire trip probably cost about $1,200. I personally only paid $200 of that because if you saw my last video, uh, Penn State paid $4,000. Um, my tips for that would be I traveled in March, so things were a lot cheaper. Venice is very cheap in March, at least in 2015. Um, my hotel's private room, large bed, was only about $15 a night. So 2016, again, just one trip. Uh, it was probably about $1,200. I went to Thailand and Qatar for about uh, two weeks. My tips would be that Thailand is really cheap once you get there, but the flights can be expensive. So, 2017, I went to China for a May Master, uh, about three weeks, and I can't even tell you how much that cost. That was completely provided by the university. I also went to Ireland, Northern Ireland, and Scotland. That whole trip for flights, accommodations, and food was probably about $500. Tips for that would be... Flights from JFK to Dublin are actually pretty cheap, uh, and once you get to Dublin, you can stay at hostels. Every hostel was probably about under $20. So, 2018, I went on four trips. The first was to Ghana and Belgium. That was probably about $1,200. Uh, I went with one of my friends who is a local, so my tip for that would be... Um, well, going to local places and hanging out in local areas are a lot cheaper than if you're at fancy five-star hotels and things like that, obviously. The second trip was to Kuwait and India. Uh, that was probably about $1,300. Uh, flights were about $600-ish. Uh, going in February was a lot cheaper than going at different times of the year, from New York City to Delhi. Um, and once you get to India, it's pretty cheap. But I was also with friends almost that entire time. Also in February, I went to Mexico for about four days. I uh, don't fully know the cost of that. It was all included, uh, flights and uh, all of that. I, it was actually for an anarchy conference. Uh, crazy stories there, crazy time. I'll probably make a couple videos just on that. It's a great experience. Uh, I personally probably paid about $100 out of pocket just for food at airports and things like that. And the final trip in 2018, which really marks the difference between being a college student, not having as much money, and graduating college where I was working a full-time job um, and had a little more stability and security. So uh, for about four weeks, I took a trip to Pakistan, the UK, and Norway. Uh, that whole trip was probably about $1,400. Um, Tickets were bought quite last minute, but once I got to Pakistan, things were pretty cheap. Uh, I was very, very grateful to be able to stay with a great family uh, who really took care of me there. Um, and then I actually didn't even use my flight tickets home. Instead, uh, I skipped them and kind of popped around Europe for a little bit. Uh, again, I was always with friends the entire time I was in Europe. So 2019, uh, I've been on three trips. First was to Iceland for four days. That was also completely free. I was given a gift card from my previous trip for delayed flights. It covered my flights and I also sold it for the rest of the price. Uh, second trip was to Brazil. Brazil was probably about $1,000 uh, over a week and a half, mostly on flights. Uh, once you get to Brazil, it's pretty cheap. And then my final, most recent trip in 2019 um, was probably the most expensive trip by far that I've ever been on. It was only two weeks, but I was country hopping. I went to Ireland, the UAE, Ukraine, India. That was probably about $2,500. Uh, and 2000 of that was probably just in flight tickets. My tips for that would be a lot of the time I was sleeping on flights. Uh, all my, most of my flights were overnight. Uh, and once you get to India, India is uh, pretty cheap as long as you're conscious of what you're doing and what you're spending on. There's a lot of information really, really fast. I don't want to take a ton of your time, so I skim through it. But in summary, 2015, three countries, $200 out of my pocket, about a week and a half of travel. 2016, I went to two different countries, about $1,200 out of my pocket for two weeks of travel. 
2017, it's probably about four countries, probably $500 out of my pocket uh, for about a month of travel. 2018 was nine countries, about $4,100 in travel for a total of two months of just international travel. And 2019, most recently, uh, was probably about six countries, $3,500 for a month of travel. Uh, so in total, that's four months of traveling around the world uh, and three and a half weeks uh, to see about 20 countries, which I spent probably $9,500, uh, which seems like a ton of money when you all add it up. It was over four years. Um, and, you know, people do say travel is very expensive, and I agree. You know, there's definitely ways to make it cheaper. Uh, all of my trips were done pretty cheap compared to how they could have been done. But also, if you notice, that of the things I do choose to spend my money on, it is travel. Uh, I'm in my room right now. This is my bed. It was actually a free bed that a friend just didn't want anymore. Um, and, you know, I, I still sleep uh, on the floor. I don't need anything fancy. I don't spend my money that much on fancy things. So, it's possible if you want it. But it is something that, from where I come from and from my background, it's something you really, really, really do need to work for, financially speaking. Do I regret any of it? Do I wish that I had the $9,500 in my pocket right now? It's that, you know, it's I spent it and didn't invest it and, you know, didn't save it. But uh, I wouldn't give up the experiences that I've had uh, for anything. I definitely think that the things I've learned, the things I've experienced, the people that I've met, are worth so much more money uh, than what I put forth a hundred times. So thanks for listening and check back next week for another video.